Hello, close enough gamers of the slightly distant nation. Um, well, as you can see from the screen, I had some slight issues updating TechIt. So instead, I decided to do a showcase of industrial craft. And yes, I'm going. To, I sh will only be doing TechIt builds now for a while because I now have. I'm now using the Feed the Beast launcher, and that is my. And I just enjoy that mod pack much more. I, and uh, like I said, I will still be using or will still be doing um, different tech it builds like automatic wheat farm or Godzilla with red power frames, complete with fire breath action and actual walking instead of flying and then looking all weird. Anyways. This will be a review of industrial craft powers. Oops, sorry. And it's raining. Why is it raining? Okay. To start with, solars. If you can, yes, if you'll. My world got all screwed up again. Hold on. Okay. Solars. They're one EU per ton. Basic solars are one EU per tick. It's roughly 0.5 EU per day, not accounting for storms. And it takes one generator per solar panel to make each panel. It's around 7,000 EMC each, and yes, that makes them worse than windmills. See, there's even a note worse than windmills. Low, these are low voltage arrays from Compact Solars, I believe, is the mod. Is the mod. It's eight EU per tick, or and roughly four EU per tick per day, not not counting for storms. It takes eight generators, and it's thirty thousand five hundred and thirty-seven EMC each. Makes Generators are still more cost effective for energy. These are medium voltage array. Sixty four these are sixty four EU per tick. Or thirty two EU per tick per day and take sixty four generators. It's three hundred and twenty six thousand two hundred and fourteen EMC. If the generators were instead used and kept fed with some automatic system, it you could use it for you. You could use it for UU matter. As it is, it's a huge loss of power for a huge amount of EMC. Then high voltage arrays. It's 512 e EU per tick, or 256 EU per tick per day. It takes 512 generators, which if you if you don't want to do the math. Is five thousand one hundred and twenty EU per tick with just the generators. So one high voltage is two million six hundred twenty-three thousand six hundred forty-nine EMC. It takes eight panels. So, see, eight times that is a lot, but to equal one safe reactor, that means all. Altogether, solars are the absolute worst power source. And I'll get onto what these things are around the MFSUs in a moment. Windmills. They are 0 to 7 EU per tick, which has some odd variable system. I don't know how it, act how it actually works, but it's average of 1.3 EU per tick per day, which makes it better than solars when ideally placed. Problem is ideal placement is way up at height 122. This is most amount of power for least with the least chance of it breaking in a storm. And they do lose one height level for every adjacent block. So this one 
this one right here because there's this right here. I think it's just a date. It's just the three by three square around it. But that would put it at height one twenty one. This would be one twenty three, and so on. As as you can see, I have a huge amount of them. And it took quite a lot of cables, enough that I had to actually place a transform. Well, I have a uh, MFSU, but you could use transformer to prevent energy loss. And it's still barely any. There's also a slight bug with windmills where they will just stop working, period. It could even be in the middle of a thunderstorm and it won't make any power. Which means they're very unreliable, but if you, but still better than solars. I'll get to those in a moment. Okay. Right here are the fuel sources. Redstone, if you set up, you know, energy condenser with a transposer or something to feed it into the bottom, you get 500 EU per piece of redstone. The problem is, redstone is 62 EMC, or, no, 64 EMC, right? Yeah. Okay. Charcoal is 128. That's two pieces of redstone, and it makes, like, four times the power. No, more than four times. Charcoal makes... Okay, we'll look at it later. Reading cactus, burned in a generator. We'll do a hundred. We'll be 128 U each. Really terrible, considering you can make it into biofuel. Rubber saplings, 200 U each. It's kind of a use, but you can use it. But whatever. Saplings and six are 250 U each. The generic wood items. So if you have whatever mod it is that lets you add in more, that lets you burn everything wood, it would still generate around 750 EU each. So planks, stairs, tools if you, if you have that add-on. Scrap. Burning generator is 870 EU each. It's kind of a waste of scrap, but it works. Now, coal and charcoal. Remember, with equivalent exchange, one piece of coal becomes four pieces of charcoal. And redstone, two of them makes one charcoal. Either one of them becomes 4,000 EMC. Since two redstone is only 1,000 EMC, or EU, not EMC, that makes burning redstone in any power supply kind of pointless. Okay, coal coke from Railcraft. Burns for twice as long as coal, so it makes 8,000 EU. Now, coal fuel cell, which is what I have set up way over there, will make 76,440 EU. Biofuel cell, which is part of the huge machine, the huge building behind me in the mini map, is 26,000. So, coal fuel is better but requires condenser abuse. Biofuel is fully renewable and you can use UU matter to recreate the tin and make a fully closed system. Build now this is not something you see people no, this is not something you see done a lot. Build craft. The fuel can be crafted with an empty fuel can to create another form of filled fuel can. That makes 80,000 EU, which means, yes, fuel does actually have a use. Okay. Geothermal. It's 20 EU. It does not waste. It will not burn a lava cell or a lava bucket unless it has the space for it in internal storage, unlike a generator, which will just keep burning and waste a ton of fuel. It accepts lavas from buckets, lava from buckets, cells, so right there, and directly from all 
from pipes. So industrial craft and build craft pumps will work. The red power ones will not pumps will not work because of how they work. They have to have a grate to place a lava source, which means you could use that to transport the lava up to an industrial craft pump and then use that to feed in. But it's kind of a long walk for a short drink of water. It takes 50,000 EU in a lava fabricator to make a bucket. And a bucket makes rough, pretty much the same in an, in an engine or less in the generator, which means you can't do some infinite energy thing. This was an experiment to see if redstone engines to an engine generator can make enough power to make for a lava fabricator to run. Because that would be really nice if it could, but as it turns out, it couldn't. These are at going at max speed, and I don't think a single thing of lava has been made yet. So, redstone engines, basically you can't use them in engine generators. It doesn't make anything worth it. Okay, this system right here. This makes coal. Oop. Just ignore that spoiler. This makes coal and the other one makes tin. The coal goes into a macerator, which I need to fix the timer. I need to set different timers, but this was a huge pain. Coal goes into a macerator, and tin becomes empty cells. Or tin. What? Oh, okay, no, that's not tin, that's a lava bucket. Goes into there. Water bucket. Lava bucket, really? I'm fumbling today. Anyways, that becomes hydrated coal dust. That can be then fed into a compressor to make hydrated coal. That fed into a crafting table with empty cells. Let's see. Ah, that's what I was missing. Okay. Anyway, so that fed into the crafting table with empty cells becomes <sighs> really a hydrated coal cell. That in an extractor becomes a coal fuel cell, which then into a canning machine becomes a filled fuel can. Oh. Okay, each of the fuel cans have a separate damage value, so biofuel, coal fuel, and the Billcraft fuel filled. The problem is, apparently on a reload, it resets back to the basic one. Or hides it or something. That's annoying. Anyways, that that coal fuel cell filled fuel can is 76,000 EU. That means you could possibly, you could run a mass fabricator off of enough of it. It takes, let's see, 1 million EUs to make a EU matter, which means a mass fabricator will take... Roughly 14, I think, generators in order to, in order to keep it going. Or 14 generators to make it at a decent speed. Okay. Ah, I keep giving spoilers of the item. Okay. Water mills. Unmanned water mills are 0.25 EU per tick at best. You get two water mills per craft, which mean which puts it at five EU per tick a day at best. Means it's means it's equal to basic solar panels, but it's far but it's far far cheaper because it takes some planks and sticks to make that. That makes the water mills somewhat better, but not by much. Now this system is something you should recommend. You should recognize from Direwolf or an, an, any other number of YouTube people. It's manned, unmanned water mills. Because a water mill will power if it has a water bucket in the bottom or 
occasion I think water cells depending on your version. This means that a deployer with a filter set or deployer set to fill buckets and a retriever to retrieve empty buckets can be set up to automatically feed these. In manned mode, it's two EU per tick. And this whole system can support fifteen to twenty water mills before a server starts having lag issues. It's total it's totally renewable, no maintenance power source, and kind of the best. It's not viable for mass fabricator, unfortunately. But it could work for a teleporter that's not regu regularly used, or possibly a force field. If you use it with a teleporter, this, this would be the one time an electrolyzer is useful. An electrolyzer takes water cells and makes electrolyzed water cells. It has to be directly next to an energy storage device, but it does not have to be at the output. It can be on any of the input sides. What it does is when it's the storage device is over 50% full, it will start charging the water cells. When the device is less than 25% full, it will de discharge the water cells. It will store, or it will take 960,000 EU to charge a full stack of water cells, but there's a 20% loss when you charge it back. It is really cheap, fairly cheap to make. Let's see. Oh, that. Yeah, empty cell, machine block, circuits. So it's really, it's actually cheaper to make than another storage device, even if you have a bat box, even with just a bat box. But with the loss, I just, I don't know, it's a personal thing, I'm just not fond of it. It is good, as I, as I said before and had in the note, it is good for teleporter, uh, for tor teleporter extra storage, but ugh, I just don't like it. And now for the special, the special event, eco oil. See, a not for some reason, a lot of people aren't aware that. Forestry was not the only thing with biofuel. Industrial craft does have its own form of biofuel. What you do is saplings, wheat, oh, saplings, wheat, sugarcane, or cactus can be used to make a plant ball. Yeah, as you can see, I tried to combine build craft and red power for this whole system, mostly because my brother got tired of me go going off on how Billcraft is terrible. So I tried to I tried to use them, but it's just... I really want, would have t rather tear this down and just use totally red power, but that would take more time and I want to get this done. Okay, anyways. That automatic crafting cable becomes a plant ball. Saplings make two plant balls, but cactus is still more efficient EMC-wise. Wheat Anyway, so that compressed and automatically cr crafted again. So compressed plants and an empty cell, which is what I have here, a condenser with tin to an empty cell. And that becomes a, a bio cell. A bio cell in an extractor makes biofuel cell. Biofuel cell in a canning machine will fill the fuel can, and that's 26,000 EU burned in a generator. With a retriever system to draw the empty fuel cans back out, like, well, like that, it can be totally automated, automated without any, any fear of spillover, because the, the filled fuel cans do not stack, sadly. It's using a you could use a wheat farm, which would be ideal for this, and it becomes a fully renewable, fully automatic um, mass fabricator. UU matter can to make the tin 
makes the system totally self-sufficient. And yeah, basically this is a really good power source that not a lot of people will ever do. Um, oh yeah, a wheat farm for the plant to make the plant balls is reliable in growth and if you use a if you have you can recycle the seed extra seeds as well to make scrap for the UU mat better. Takes one recycler per eighteen EU tick to keep up with the mass fabricator and scrap. And yeah. But you could aside from that, it's twenty six thousand EU. It takes fifty thousand EU in a in a lava or oil fabricator to make one bucket. An oil fabricator has a maximum speed at two hundred fifty EU per tick. It will not make any oil faster than at you know if you provide more. It's okay. It's forty nine thousand six hundred EU per bucket, not fifty thousand, but close enough. At maximum speed, it can supply three refineries. Combustion engines running on fuel can run the oil generator with an engine generator and refinery with power left over. Fuel buckets can be crafted with empty fuel can for 80,000 EU, which I already showed off, if you don't want to deal with combustion engines. And, and a combustion engine to an engine generator does make more energy, but both are viable for potentially unlimited power. Uh, and as you can see, there's that, and I have the extended system up here with item teleport pipes because I was having overflow issues. But, ah, this is something cool. A retriever does not have to be next to something. It will retrieve a set, if you can set an item and it will retrieve that from any inventory the tube is connected to. So I could have actually had that way over here and made the system a lot more compact, but, yeah, oh well. Anyways, this, this means that this whole process is fully renewable, eco-friendly oil. So, yay! Yay, nature! And that's it. See you next time where... I think I'll be doing Feed the Beast afterwards because I'm liking that mod pack and since I don't actually know everything about it, I, it would probably be a lot more entertaining. Bye!